Hi guys, it's Adria. Welcome to the insanity of my life. <laughs> so it's been a little bit since I've sat down and filmed a video, and by that I mean it's been since last week. <laughs> if I look like I got hit by a bus, I feel like I might as well have. I got five hours of sleep and I'm running on coffee. I feel like I said the same thing in my last video that I was running on coffee. I'm filming at my mom's house, which means there's dogs, which make everything better. And my mom has a new dog. Do you guys want to meet him? <laughs> He's such a pretty boy. <laughs> He's like, no. I'm not playing with you right now. We'll play after. So I feel the need to sort of update you guys. I was just going to post a normal video today, but you know, I had a little bit of a meltdown on Twitter and I think it raised some concern. So I just want to thank those of you who are so kind and understanding on my Twitter. Kindness should always be rewarded. It's not always rewarded, but I think that it should be. Yeah, I just said if any of y'all pray, could you pray for me? I'm just not doing well right now. I want to thank Sarah, Elise, Francisca, Annie, Julian, Savvy, Jenna, Tyra, Ray, Nutmeg, KK, Haley, Michelle, Hope, Victoria, Tori, Robert, Your Mental Health, Cheyenne, and Amanda. So thank you guys. I feel like my bad appearance is almost like reflective of how I feel inside. And I meant to powder my face and put lipstick on, but I forgot it because my memory cards were here at my mom's and my makeup was at my place. And so yeah, as of recently, my schedule has really filled up with work. You know, this morning it was kind of like joking, like, huh, I have five jobs. And I was like, actually, I have four. Yesterday, I literally did not sit down and I went to sleep before 11 o'clock and then woke up at 4 a.m. from anxiety. <laughs> I think it's just like I'm so mentally tired and doing all the physical stuff too just like doesn't help. If I had like mental strength, I feel like this would be twice as easy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like my appetite has been crap. My sleep has been crap. You know when you cry twice before 6 a.m., the day can't get much worse. I made a video a long time ago called Jobs and Social Anxiety, and to this day, that is one of my most engaged with videos. I wanna do more videos about that, like job advice. I think a lot of it was like people being like, I don't know how you work in a bar if you have social anxiety. I think, I, I feel the need to keep what I'm doing for work private only because I don't think I ever explicitly said what my job was, but I would wear like the t-shirt in some videos and people found out where I worked. And I did a whole video about this, so I'll link that in the cards if you want to see that, but a subscriber did call me at work. I wasn't there, but you know, that scared me. I can't just be like, hey guys, I work here. Come find me. Like a scavenger hunt. I also did get a message not too long ago from somebody and it was such poor timing too that I think it, I think it hurt a little bit more because I, you know, am back to like working a conventional job. But I got a message, my brain's all over the place. I got a message from somebody saying like, oh, your videos used to be so interesting because, you know, you had a normal job and you had stories to share about that. While to to a certain extent that is true. I go through these points in time where I feel more private and I think that has to do also with mental health. Like there are times literally I want to just delete all my social media because these things come up where people are just not nice and they're, <laughs> I know that sounds like, like a five-year-old, like people aren't nice. There are people that I know who I wouldn't want to have certain information about me. Like even in my real life, I'm like, you know, don't tell people that I'm doing this. I'm just kind of a private person, especially when things are new. Um, because then if they end up not working out, I don't want to be like, it didn't work. It's so easy for me to talk about things when they're a few years old. You know, if something happens in my day, for me to come home and talk about it on a video is like, it, it feels weird to me and I, I can't really put a word on that of why that is. Oh, and if you're wondering what's wrong with my, I have like two monster blisters on my thumbs. This one has a band-aid, but I had two band-aids on earlier. It probably looked so stupid, but um... I pretty much work all day every day now, for the most part, including YouTube as well. I was sort of having like a moment of being really sad, like I wish that YouTube could be my only job. And I've said this so many times, but it occurred to me today that it's still something that I want to do. Monday and Friday is still going to be my posting days. I really, I hate when people set a schedule and then they post like a day late. That's like such a pet peeve. One of my very redeeming qualities is that I'm always on time. For me to not be on time with my YouTube schedule, I've said, 
set. I'm very hard on myself about it. Tomorrow, Saturday, is actually my niece's first birthday. I know I talk about all the- hold that thought, but like, bro. Yeah, I know I talk about all the time not liking babies, but if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen my niece. I'm very careful about what I share online because of course, like, she's not my baby. You know, at some point, I would like to have her on my channel. She's like the first baby I've ever, like, loved, which is like, guys, ha- <laughs> I didn't think it was possible. My eyes are so puffy. It kind of looks like I have like bedroom eyes. Like I'm like smizing like Tyra Banks, but it's like, no, I'm actually just sleep deprived. I slept from like 11 to 4 a.m. That is not enough sleep. You know, the importance of privacy. I think that it's important for people that do social media to also keep a certain level of privacy. And I'm not saying that like, you know, people that watch me would stalk me at work or like call my work or, you know, try to find out what I do. I think that boundary is really important. I've heard about like YouTubers leaving their job because of people finding out where they work and that sort of concerns me. I will share a little bit though, because I don't think I really touched on this, but earlier this year I started doing videography. I could totally see myself doing that. While doing my first wedding was really nerve wracking. I was so nervous for it. I just wanted everything to go smoothly. It was so much fun and I'm so proud of the final product. I want to get back to drawing. That's also something that's like super important to me. I want to like get a canvas and paint. I just want to be artsy again. Maybe even open up my Etsy shop that I did. Remember a few years ago? OGs will remember. I sold a few uh, commissions on Etsy, but I do have an art Instagram. It's at Adria Killen Art on Instagram. Pink Sparkles, the YouTuber, actually reached out to me and wanted to commission something from me because I gave her a drawing when I met her. So she actually like wanted to commission something from me and I thought that was really cool. I think that sort of like jump started me to like, oh my gosh, I used to draw for people all the time and that's so fulfilling to me. So I'm kind of like a jack of all trades master of none there are things that i do want to open up about i don't know there's a lot of stuff i don't talk about just for like i try to protect those around me as well i feel like that's another part of being a youtuber because there's story times i did in the past that i feel like i would have a hard time making now where it involves other people and it's just like I don't know how they would feel about that. If any of my exes are watching and want to be on my channel to clear their name, <laughs> that would be terrible. I don't think I want to do that. I feel like I'm so out of breath. Do you ever just like go, 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 go? And then when you finally get to sit down and just do something fun, you're like, wish me luck in all of my uh, business ventures. Being an adult sucks. I just, like, I didn't sign up for this. You know, I was born against my will. It's expensive nowadays. Like, girl, I'm working on my license. You guys were so sweet on my Instagram video where I was driving this car. All the comments were like, I was so happy to see you in the driver's seat. And I wasn't expecting that. He's a rescue. His family had to surrender him. <gasps> I love dogs in conclusion. Colt, can you, can you sit? <laughs> Moral of the story is I want to just challenge myself and just embrace change to routine. Because I feel like for me, that's one of the things I struggle with the most is bringing on a new change into my life. But I think it's just acknowledging that, yes, I'm going to be stressed out. Yes, I'm going to be nervous. Yes, it's all going to feel new and unfamiliar and uncomfortable, but that's normal. Just seeing where the wind takes me. I should film that wedding planning horror story soon, as well as trying to find a venue and trying to plan a wedding that I feel like is never going to happen. But I, I'm I'm gonna manifest it. I'm not gonna say it's never gonna happen because that might manifest it to not happen, but I have to manifest it to happen. I need to live by change is good. Change is good. I'm proud of myself for positive changes that I've been making, driving more with getting out there, making more money, bringing up my art again, being more optimistic about YouTube and being like, you know what? It's not my only job now at this point, but like, that's fine because you know, this is fun for me. Uh, I don't know how long I've been sitting here. Thank you guys for your love and understanding and just supporting the dream always. Thank you to the people that support me on Patreon. I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, take care of yourself. Subscribe to my vlog channel. Pan hugs, love you guys. Goodbye. I'm gonna sleep so good tonight, it's gonna be ridiculous. <laughs> He's like playing dead right now. I want y'all to try to guess what breed he is. If you guess it right, you win.
five dollars okay bye